Hey you guys, it's me Snowflake Piggy and sorry for the noise in the background. The pigs are going crazy because they think it's veggie time, but they're a few hours early. So yeah, but today it is Saturday, March 8th, I think, and I am here with a chinchilla video for you guys because I know you guys wanted a chinchilla video, so that's what I'm doing for you guys today. And I don't know if you guys remember, in my last video, I asked you guys what day of the week you guys want me to upload on. So it was torn between Wednesday and Saturday. So I thought about it, and at first I was going to do Wednesdays, but then I was like, um, I have homework <laughs> and I'm usually out pretty late on the weekdays because I have sports and stuff and even on the weekends oops, sorry I hit the tripod and even on the weekends I'm pretty busy sometimes because I go out and I also volunteer on Saturdays but I can film them in advance and just upload them so I just thought that Saturday would just be all in all easier and I could keep up with the schedule more Today I'm going to be doing a chinchilla video and it's going to be how to clean a chinchilla cage. So I'm going to show you how I clean my chinchilla's cage. They have a Critter Nation model 162 so if you have a different cage for your chinchillas, cleaning might be a little bit different but I just want to show you guys what I do for my chinchillas. So here's their cage. It's been a week since I changed their fleece last. I spot clean them throughout the week and stuff but this is the aftermath of a week. So yeah, usually I would recommend starting with their upper top level because when you clean this out, stuff will probably fall to the bottom half. And that's okay because you still have to clean the bottom half. But if you clean the bottom half and then go to clean the top half when like their poop and stuff falls to the bottom, your clean cage is dirty. And I clean their cage with them in it because I can't put them out for playtime um, and not supervise them. So they stay in their cage for this process. So yeah, let's get started. So the first step I do to clean their cage is I have to get Titan and Chico both to be down here so I can block it off so I can start with the upper bit. So let me do that. So I'm going to take this block thingy, chinchilla, and block it off so they can't come up so I can clean up. And I have to give Titan his treat, but I don't know where he went. He's down there somewhere. Hey, Titan, come here. Now that both of the chinchillas are down here, I can start cleaning their upper part of their cage. So this week it's a little, the setup is a little different because we have this box in here. So I just put that box in there because I wanted to change it up for them and let them have some fun because it's usually uh, relatively the same for their cage. So I'm just going to pull it out a little bit. As you can see there's a bunch of bedding and hay in it. I'm going to take their hut out, dump it out. Just set it off to the side, and I, I'll do that with all of their toys and accessory thingies. Yeah, basically to destroy this box. I'm trying to decide if I could clean this out, dump it out, and then put it back in. Because I think they liked having it in their cage. Their fur got all over. So yeah, I think I'm going to dump this out, and then we will see if we can use it again for next week. That was a fail. Did you see that? I just like poured it all over the carpet. Here's the box all emptied out. It's kind of gross. Um, so I'm just going to recycle this and uh, yeah, you can see I spilled, like I totally missed the trash can. I'm such a freak, but yeah. Um, the carpet is really messy now, but that's okay. I'll just sweep it up and vacuum it up and stuff. After. It usually gets pretty messy in here when I clean. Okay, so now that the box is cleared out, I'm left with a bunch of poop and toys. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is basically just take out the toys and put them off to the side. 
Here is the Chinchilla Designated uh, Dust Pan and Brush. So I'm just going to sweep that up. and stuff that came um, off the fleece of the top level so now I'm just going to chuck that out okay so the next thing that I do is I lift their pan out and I make sure that it doesn't take this uh, chinchilla with it when I pull it out so I hold that there but yeah there's still some stuff here but yeah I'm just going to take the little level pan thing out and I just set it on the floor so I can take this their cover off and shake it and then I put it in the laundry bin. Take this the cover off. And I'm just shaking it off just to get any bits off. So now that the cover is off, you just have the pan, the plastic pan. So your next step is to take your whatever cleaning solution you're using, but make sure it's safe for animals. So I would recommend just a water and vinegar 50-50 mix. Um, it's natural and it's, well, it's one of the most natural ways you can do it. And it's cheap, so that's what I use. So I'm just going to put this fleece in a bin to be washed, in the laundry bin. So I have my um, cleaning solution and I'm just going to spray it, the pan all over. And I'm going to take my little, what is this called? It's like a towel, but not really. <laughs> it's, I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, I'm just going to take this and wipe it down. pan is all wiped off, you want to take your new liner, nice and clean liner or fleece. So here's the pan and you take your fleece and just pull it over. It's basically just a cover I made so it so the chinchillas can't get to the plastic. So just put it on like this. So after you get your cover on your plastic pan, you just want to pull it and then tuck the open end under the pan so that when you put it in, they won't be able to, well, it'll be harder for them to pull up the fleece and get to the plastic part. So basically you just slide it back in. Like that, and Titan is going crazy on his wheel downstairs. So, yeah, but here is their clean top part. And as for this tunnel, if you guys can see the tunnel, I'm not changing that fleece yet because it's really not that bad. Um, but later when I'm vacuuming the room, I'll vacuum the back part of it because some poop, when they're sitting up there, it slides back there. But yeah, so that isn't too bad. I will take a dustpan and brush and just clean out the inside right now. Um, usually I do that before I change the main part fleece, but I forgot today, so I'm just going to do that now. And for a last cleaning touch on the upstairs, I'm going to wipe off their cooling chilling ledge with the water vinegar solution using my little rag. Oh, that's what the word I was looking for earlier. Rag. Oh no, I wanted it to fall off. Get that. But yeah, just wipe that off for added measure. And now you just kind of decorate their upper level with the houses and stuff you want to put up here. I'll put it back here. And then, yeah, so now I'm going to take this chinchilla and put it up here and cover it. Alright, you 
guys, so I just finished accessorizing and decorating their upper level for this week's cage. Basically, so I'll give you a quick overview. I haven't let them up yet. Um, but yeah, here they are. Hello. Hi, kitty. Oh, look at that, huh, kitty? Hi, kitty. Get your little paws. You're so cute. You are. He celebrated his birthday. Well, we celebrated his birthday on March 4th. He's now four years old. My little baby's growing up. But yeah, look at his cute face. He's so cute. You're adorable. You are. Okay. So now, basically, we are just going to let them up. I just pull this a little bit so that they can come up now and then we'll just cover it once they come up so we can do their lower level but um don't uh take it off like too little or else it could um be dangerous so yeah that's a pretty big space you can't really tell i'll show you if i walk around here it's a pretty good space yeah yeah, see? It's pretty good space. Here you go. You just want to make sure that it's good for them and they can fit through. There you go. So, now that they're up here, I'm going to cover that up so we can start working on their bottom level. Alright, so I just covered up their little section downstairs. Uh, so now we can work down here and they will stay out of the way. So their base part is really messy this week. Um, yeah, I'll show you. But yeah, so let us get started because we have a lot to clean. Now that it is all swept out, I'm just going to do the same thing that I did upstairs. Pull out their pan and take the cover off, shake it off, put it in the laundry, and then spray this down and wipe it up. And I'm not going to show you that because I showed you for upstairs, so I will get back to you once I do that. Alright you guys, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up their litter pan with some bedding and this litter pan it is plastic as you can see and I don't have really any other plastic I don't have any plastic at all other than this in their cage because chinchillas really shouldn't have plastic access to plastic because if they chew it then it's really really dangerous and it can lead to death the reason I use this litter pan for them is because they don't chew it at all because it has their hay in it so they have other stuff to chew in it so I will be looking into getting a different kind of litter pan, but for now, this is fine for them. They don't chew it. If they ever do start chewing it, I will remove it immediately. So please don't worry about that. But I really, really wouldn't recommend using plastic in your cages unless they don't chew it. Okay, so I'm just going to fill it up with this cardboard stuff, which is... I don't really know what it's called, but I have a little scoop in here. So here's the big hay bin. This has about nine pounds. I think nine pounds or 15 pounds. I totally forget. We used to get nine, but maybe now we get 15. I'm not really sure. It Probably nine pounds. But it has nine pounds of third cut Timothy hay. And this is what the chinchillas and guinea pigs eat. And it's Clean Mama's hay from the KMS Hayloft. And I would highly recommend that. So, yeah, I just filled up their litter pan. And now I am going to put their litter pan back in their cage. All right, guys. So I've almost finished cleaning this part of their cage. But I still have to do a few more things. I'm going to wipe their wheel. This is the chin spin. Um, I highly recommend this wheel. This is really the only wheel that I recommend for chinchillas. Um, but yeah, I'm going to wipe the metal part down with my uh, vinegar and water solution. And then I'm going to clean out 
their bowl or wash their bowl. And I'm also going to clean and refill their glass water bottle. I give them um, filtered water because I think it's better for them. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to do those things now and then we'll be able to let them back down to this part of their cage. So there's still some vinegar on this rag, so I'm just going to wipe their wheel down using it. So now that we're done with this rag, I'm gonna put it in the laundry bin and then I am going to clean out their food bowl and water bottle. Alright, so now that their bowl is all clean, I'm going to take their pellets container, which looks like this, and I'm so sorry, the carpet is really messy. It gets really messy when I clean. But they eat chinchilla deluxe pellets, so uh, yeah. So I'm just going to pour that into the bowl. So that they get a little bit, um, not too much, but yeah, and they really like pellets, so that's good. But yeah, you don't want to overfeed pellets. I wanted to add this part into the video that... Um, even though I cover the top part with that little chinchilla, you don't want to leave the doors open ever when you're not by the cage because they moved it by themselves and let themselves down here. So that's just like a precautionary thing I do while I'm cleaning them out so they don't get in the way <laughs> while I'm cleaning. But I would never leave them like unsupervised for a long time like that or without the doors closed. Okay, so now that they have their food and they are down here and everything, I'm going to unclip their water bottle and take it upstairs to be washed and refilled because I have filtered water upstairs but not down here. So here's their water bottle if you want to see it. It is a Super Pets, I don't know how many ounces this is. I totally forget, what does the bottle say? 14 ounces? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so here is their water bottle. And I would not recommend putting water bottles in their cage. You want to make sure that it's attached outside and I think that goes for a lot well, I try to do that whenever possible because all of my water bottles, they are outside of the cage and not inside. Because when I used to put this inside, Chico, he would love detaching the little metal thingy that attaches it to that thingy. That attaches it to the wall and the water bottle would fall down and it could hit them and it could like really, really hurt them. So I would always recommend putting it on the outside of the cage. guys so their cage is finally clean now I just have to clean the room um, but yeah their cage this is what it looks like I can give you guys a really quick cage tour if you'd like oh and here's their water bottle all cleaned and refilled I wanted to say that um so usually once or well usually once every one or two weeks I will go in and deep clean well I'll deep clean their water bottle using a bottle brush but as you saw in the video today I um, I just used really hot water to clean it out and 
stuff, but um, I would recommend at least once every week or two weeks going in with a bottle brush, which is what I do with their water bottles. So here's their upper level. They have this really cute fleece right here. Um, here's Titan. Hello. Hi, Titan. You're so cute. Look at that little nose. Hello. Would you like to say hello to the camera? Hello. Hello, Abby. Hello. Hello. You're so cute. I don't have anything for you. I just have my fingers. Yeah, he is so cute. Yeah, Titan's doing really good. He's lost a lot of weight since he came here. Well, not a lot of weight, but he's much fitter. Cause, or much more fit. Because when we first got him, I don't know if you guys remember, he was really, really fat. Like, um, because the people who we got, who we adopted him from, he hadn't been out of the cage to run around in years. He had been cooped up in a cage for forever. But now he gets playtime and Chico's getting a drink of water. I just have to fix their house because he's moved it around. But yeah, so here is an overview of their cage. Say hi to Chico too, eating his pellet. But I think Chico really loves having a friend, and I think Titan and him really love each other. Because they're always sleeping together and eating together, except right now Titan's exploring. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it helped you when you're cleaning your chinchilla's cage. Or it gave you some tips, or just some entertainment. So look forward to videos every Saturday. I'm going to try to upload every Saturday. That's my goal. Um, but yeah, so here are the chinchillas. Please leave video requests in the comment section below because with more videos coming, I need some ideas, please. Say goodbye, Chico. Goodbye, little baby. Little baby, you're so cute. Yes, you are so cute. Hello. Hello. Chico says, please go subscribe for more videos. Hello. You're so cute. Look at you, little fluffy. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you all next Saturday.